I'm Ranger Kathy Taylor at Paris Mount State Park here in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm in the campground. I figured that'd be a good place to go when we're getting ready to do a camping craft today. So I'm at a picnic table at the campground. There's a tent pad by me and a fire ring. So that might give you some ideas right there of what you might do if you go camping. What would you be doing if you went camping? Well, you might be eating up at a picnic table, right? and maybe uh, cooking over the fire or just roasting marshmallows. That's kind of nice to do, isn't it? Setting up a tent, right? And spending some time under the great outdoors, under the sky. So we're gonna be doing a craft today and it has to do uh, with what you would see if you were camping. It's with paper plates and it involves a tent and a tree and the night sky and the daytime sky. Now I've made this craft with a template that's available on the South Carolina Parks Facebook page today. We got it from nontoygifts.com. So you can also go to that site for this template. And you can cut out the shapes. I suggest doing this on a cardstock, a little bit stiffer paper than just regular thin paper. Now I tried doing this couple other ways too. I tried just cutting out with construction paper that I had handy. Um, construction paper. I tried just cutting out shapes for my craft like two triangles for the tent because you're going to want to have it show an inside part of the tent as well as an outside. Uh, a triangle for the tree and a rectangle for the trunk of the tree. What about the moon? Uh, I made a circle that shape but then I cut a section out to show the phases, the phase of the moon that I wanted to have, and a circle for the sun. So you can work with shapes uh, in construction paper to make this craft, or you, or you can just draw it. You can just draw this, uh, your tent, your tree, your moon, your sun, and uh, mainly enjoy thinking about what you would do if you went camping. So let's see what we need to have for this craft. We need some paper plates, we know. I'd say two for the craft itself, and one just for measuring, so you can measure halfway on your plate, or even measure, if you fold it again, you can figure out exactly the center of the plate. You'll need that uh, to make this craft. Then you might need a plate for paint, or something to hold the paint. Uh, I have paint brushes, and of course, paint. I have some sky blue paint, some white paint, and black paint. And this is acrylic. It claims to be quick drying, easy cleanup. So that's whatever works for that is good, right? And I have a cup just to hold some water. So I'll need that with the paint brushes a little bit. What else do we need? Well, a pencil will be good when you're marking on your plate where to put certain things. And scissors for cutting out your template or shape, so however you choose to do this. A ruler would be helpful. It's not absolutely necessary, but you can mark uh, where to put the hole punch half an inch from the top of the plate, that kind of stuff. And finally, glue. Glue stick's fine for that. Oh, I didn't mention the brass fastener yet. So one of these brass fasteners, they're so handy with some crafts especially paper plate crafts, it seems. So you'll be able to turn your plate from nighttime to daytime. Now, I made this very blank under the tree and the tent. You might think of what you could do to add to this picture. What would you add? Plants of other sorts besides that tree. Uh, you can just draw flowers, maybe some animals. Uh, so that would be a good addition to this craft. Are you looking forward to making this with me today? I'll be uh, cutting out items, all that, and so I'll speed that up at times to make it go a little quicker for the video, but you can always pause the video and um, catch up as you wish. Well, let's get started. Use a paper plate folded in half to mark the middle of your craft paper plate. Then with your pencil, trace the middle line. 
Fold your folded paper plate one more time so you can mark the center of the plate with your pencil. Then paint half the plate black. Dip a paintbrush in the white paint and then dip it in a cup of water. Add the stars by placing the paintbrush over the black half of the plate and gently tapping on the paintbrush. Paint the other half of the paper plate sky blue. Set the painted plate aside to dry. Now get another paper plate. Use your folded paper plate to mark the middle of the craft paper plate. And with your pencil, trace the middle line. Use your ruler to measure half an inch above the middle line. And then fold your folded paper plate one more time so you can mark the center of the plate. Use your folded paper plate and the pencil to trace that second line. Use scissors to cut along that second line. Use a hole punch to make a hole in the center of the paper plate along the middle line. Now cut the shapes on the camping template sheet. To make the tent, first cut along the dotted line of the purple triangle, and then glue the purple triangle onto the red triangle. Fold the flaps to show the inside of the tent. Get that green triangle and cut slits at the bottom to make it more, look more like a tree. If the paper plate is dry, connect, uh, place the white paper plate on top of the painted paper plate and use your pencil to make a hole in the middle of the painted paper plate. Then connect the two paper plates with the brass fastener. Almost done. Glue the moon onto the black half of the plate. Glue the sun onto the blue sky half of the plate.
glue the tint onto the white paper plate on one side of the brass fastener. For the tree, glue the brown rectangle onto the white paper plate on one side of the brass fastener. And after doing that, glue the green triangle onto the tree trunk on the paper plate. All done. Well, you've made your craft, so let's have some fun with it. I'll hold up this one and you can pretend to be someone camping. How about that? So uh, if it's daytime, probably wouldn't be in your tent much then, right? What would you be doing? Maybe hiking on a trail, maybe exploring alongside a creek or some nice uh, cool water area maybe seeing what animals you can find without disturbing them. You're, remember, you'll be in their habitat, but there's so much you can do exploring. And while it's still daylight, you might eat something on your picnic table. I mean, some have lunch or whatever. So how about you get to nighttime? Now, what are you gonna do when you're camping at the park? Well, you probably wouldn't go into your tent right away so uh, you can pretend to be roasting marshmallows, right? Over the fire. Uh, what else? Looking up at the stars, listening for birds like owls, or listening for frogs or insects, uh, just listening to the night sounds. And then you crawl into your tent. And speaking of night sounds, there's another way we can do this game where you can pretend to be an animal that wakes up at night. So let's say you're a raccoon or what you can decide. What's a nighttime animal, nocturnal animal you could be? Maybe a bat, an owl. But you can think about that a little bit. I'd say a toad even, they hop around more at night or a moth. But let's say if you're a raccoon and it is nighttime it's time to wake up right so you're going to be looking around for some food maybe finding a crayfish to eat uh, along inside the creek uh, and then washing your paws they do wash their paws in the water as part of that process uh, going around seeing whatever it is you need to do while you're awake or maybe are you an owl if you're an owl you can swoop through the sky looking for a mouse to eat, right? Uh, looking around, being wide awake, calling out to other owls or other animals. Ooh, 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 ooh. That call depends on the type of owl. And uh, so you're busy being an owl or whatever it is you decide to be. And then it gets to be daytime. So what are the nocturnal nighttime animals gonna do in the daytime? go to sleep so uh, go to sleep whatever you are wherever you go like the owl would sleep in a hole in a tree the raccoon may be in a tree uh, oh how about a beaver I didn't uh, talk about that just now uh, we have those at Paris Mountain so we know they're active chewing on the trees at the nighttime and sleeping in their lodge alongside the water which is near the dam in the daytime. Well, I hope you have fun with this craft and I hope that you get to go camping before too long, enjoying the great outdoors. Or maybe it doesn't have to be camping. Maybe you're just be uh, going for a hike somewhere near where you live or to South Carolina State Park. Again, I'm Kathy Taylor at Paris Mountain State Park and I'm hoping you'll get outside soon.